How many auditions have you, the most auditions you've gone in on something that you've got? Oh, God. First of all, it's been a long time since I've auditioned, and that's not oh. a brag. No, it's no brag, You want to audition more? Fuck yeah. But now people don't even audition in front I of know, directors. It's you have terrible. To put it on a Zoom yeah, or Everything something. is virtual now, and yeah. it really stinks. We it talked does. about that only an hour ago at lunch that I, I miss auditioning. Oh, I really man. did. It was because you felt like you had accomplished something, even if you didn't get yeah. the part. Yes. You showed up. You that's saw right. each other. You saw the competition. You went in. You had things to overcome because they were eating their lunch or they were looking at something else. You had to get their you attention. You nailed it. You right. had to nail it. Kept it. you active and involved in the whole process. And, and yeah. more importantly, you got to show your personality. Yeah. It doesn't come through in a Zoom. That's right. You're probably trying That's too right. hard. You're, I don't know. Is he there? But when you go in there and you could be charming and be yourself and, you know, and take direction. Well, in those rare occasions when maybe there was something creative going on. And I, look, I, I did, I did a, a thing called um, uh, Murder in the First, which was Stephen Bochco's last Oh, series. yeah. With the, was that the ball guy? No, no, no. Uh, no, no, no. no. That was something. One. That was uh, a yeah. Wayne for Was that Dylan we, Baker? Oh. No. Oh. No, no, no. There was a movie Murder in the First. But yeah, no, that was different. That was Gary was Oldman. Different. Yeah, no, and this this um, uh, this was Tay Diggs. This was uh, who else? A bunch of actors. And I went in, and it was at the end of the day, and I was reading for the role that eventually Tay went to Tay Diggs, and I really worked on it, really worked on it, and I just know it didn't it didn't work. And Botchko was there, you know, legend, and he was terribly kind. And there were a couple of the casting people there. And I, I left and I was really down on myself. It was the end of the day. I don't think I'd been working that much. And I decided to turn around and mm. knock on the door. No. Yeah. And oh, I, and I, my God. It was I, about, I was about six o'clock at night. It was winter in LA. So it was, you know, the only thing to indicate that was that it was darker a little earlier. And they looked at me. They want to go home at this they point. They want to go home. And they looked at me and I, and I must have had something in my voice that said, uh, uh, please, let me, let me try this again. Please let me try this again. And uh, I, there was a moment when Botchko kind of looked around the the casting person that that answered the door, and they said, "Okay, okay." And they gave me different sides for a different character, and I read it, and uh, I got that role. You know, wow. and, and that, and it was, it was, it was, it was, um, it was wonderful on a lot of levels. Not only getting the job, but making that kind of contact with somebody who thought it was important enough to actually have a, a physical yeah. presence in this project and not just kind of do it all virtually off a computer, off a, you but know. Just the, the, that choice. I mean, I love that. That's brave. That. I, I had a similar story that was on, not that long ago. I, w I wasn't working either. This was 15, 2015. And it was uh, a new show called Studio City. It was a pilot. And uh, about true, sort of based on a true story, uh, about a, a drug dealer and his daughter in the valley in the 80s. Mm. And uh, kind of a good, that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. And, like um, yeah. Because she, she's saddled with dad. And now I, I read this pilot. I thought this, I, I have to be considered for this role. And I called my agents. They called me back and they said, they don't see you in the part. And I said, of course they don't see me in the part. I have to show them. Yeah. We had to beg, it was John Wells producing. Yeah. We had to beg John Wells to go in and I got it. I got it. Wow. And, and and they got this unknown to play my daughter. Her name was Florence Pugh. Ah. What? And uh, Fox did not pick it up. It's a great freaking pilot. You what still have that this? pilot? I don't have a copy of it. Was what that? What year is this? 2015. Um, that is, you know, I have a similar story where I go, you know what? Let me read one more time. She goes, no, I think we got it. Mm. I think you did a good job. I think we're good. Mm. And I go, yeah. She like, yeah. <laughs> and I left. That's it. I didn't get it. <laughs> That's, I that didn't is so get moving. No, she, I see what you she, did there. I think she did. Yeah. They were just yeah. like, I see what you didn't do there. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I want to do it again. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you won't. You're not going and to. And you will, and you won't. You're not going to. Right. Have you ever, what's the biggest tank in audition you ever had? Because oh, I had one really? where I went in and I start. I wasn't prepared. And I thought I could just do it, like a real good cold read. And it was somebody uh, who cast me in a couple of things. And I, yeah. I looked at him after the second take and I go, I'm awful. <laughs> and you know it and i know it because yeah. ah rosie it's i go no no no. i'm gonna go home oh. i'm gonna leave i'm not gonna waste any more of your time and uh i love you and i left wow. and i didn't even come back 
That's a self talk. <laughs> yeah, so I just, I just yeah. was like, I, you yeah. know, it was just, you know, it's one of those things. I didn't know. I, uh, I thought I was not right for this. There's no way I'm getting yeah. this, so I didn't prepare. And then I went in and looked like an asshole. Have you done anything like that? Well, I, I, for me, I always, I think I'm always prepared because I'm too terrified not to. But the one that was just an obvious one, I went right after Will and Grace. I went <sighs> into audition for Band of Brothers. Mm. I did too. I and, met with Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom Hanks yeah. was in the room, and I could just see in his eyes when I'd finished that there was no room at all <laughs> for me. <laughs> and I, I phoned my agent after this, any feedback? And they said, Tom thought there was still a whole lot of Will Truman going on ah. there. And he wasn't wrong. I, I took a long time to get that out of my bones. But but yeah, I would have had no idea in 2008 how to walk in and be you know a young soldier. Because you were wearing camouflage culottes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? What's funny is I remember them saying they don't mm. want any... Uh, known actors right. they're trying to cast all on so maybe that like maybe. that's what he was saying i was already in my 40s by that that's point. not what he was saying no, no. he was saying that yeah, he was just, yeah. just too will just 